Morning, how are you all? I hope everyone is okay. Uh, I thought we'd start outside today, why not? I thought I'd give you a little look at the beautiful Malvern Hills. Uh, it's a little overcast at the moment, but then it does always tend to be overcast because it myth, the night mist is going to clear those uh, clear those Malverns. And uh, there's a Gymkhana going on over there. You've got a Land Rover event happening as well. But I thought I'd take you take you in right from the start. So we're in the Seven Hall as always, and uh, this is where you'll come in. Oh, oh Sarah and I have had what we're wearing because it's so it was so hot near yesterday so uh he'll show your ticket to the lovely gentleman that will be here and and then you come in here so i thought i'd take you in we'll go we'll go this way i think because i don't think we went this way last time um yeah we'll go in and you can have a little look at the stands while i'm as you can see we're here mega early today uh well, mega early for us um but definitely early and not a lot of people here yet you've got crafty quilter just here this side morning with all the beautiful rainbow bits and pieces you've got ash mead on the end you've got handy quilter just here um, this is kaleidoscope's, kaleidoscope's big stand oh we could do the miniatures while we're here couldn't we let's do the little miniatures so just give you a little show of those. Say hello if you're there and everybody. So I think there was a, oh there we go, it was a journal quilt and it was making a scene. And uh, give you a little, little look at these because they've done some beautiful work. Morning Cheryl, how are you lovely? So I do like these. Beautiful these are. I love all the extra stitchy work that she's done. I like how it looks, you know, like the sea and all's come here over here and it's turned into a quilt. Really beautiful. So have a little look. They're not really miniatures, they're journal quilts, these are little little scenes. Hi Jean, hi Heather, hi Nikki. Ah, oh, you really enjoyed it yesterday. I know. Th thanks for coming to see us, my darling. I love that one. Love that. And that that particularly appeals to me. You won't believe what happened with my ice cream though, Nikki. So uh, Nikki and Charlotte were at the show yesterday and we went outside to get an ice cream because it was a little lull and it was very hot. So I really wanted a whippy ice cream. So we went out to get one. I got all the way back to the stand and as I handed mine to Sarah's, the other one just snapped. The cone snapped and it ended up on the floor. So I didn't get my ice cream, Nick. I was very, very annoyed. Um, there we go. So, let me go. So these are all the little miniatures, just so you can have a little look. Well, not they're not miniatures. Sorry, they're not miniatures. They are journal quilts. So little scenes. Okay. So what have we got? We've got the Janome stand just here. Uh, got a lady called. This is called a craft crafty moment. She's got some really beautiful jewellery and beaded necklaces and all sorts. Hey. Hi. So there's her details there I'm sure you'll be able to find her craft like just here you've got craft UK and all not craft UK they're just down there there is craft UK there he is down there causing trouble uh, kaleidoscope kaleidoscope are all down here they've got all their books and everything um, so I'm gonna take you what a shame I know Nick I was not happy I was gutted morning that's lovely Mel from sugar bowl you know we love her stuff You've got, <laughs> got Tom and Laura with all the haberdashery a girl could need. And uh, got cross patch right opposite from the Tilda stand. We'll take you into the annex and then we're going to walk down to the quilts and have a look at the second section of quilts. Um, got all sorts of bits and pieces there. I did buy some fabric yesterday. I bought some a dragonfly fabric for my mother. And I also bought um, the most beautiful, I'll show it you actually, I'll, I'll show you that stand. A lady called Helen Steele, she designs and prints all her own fabric. And I do like those, I might have to get one of those. Uh, designs and prints all her own fabric. And she did the most beautiful like turtle um, fabric. So I bought a load of that for my mother. 
So, and then got this lovely little got bag drop, got coastal colours, uh, you've got Husqvarna and all here, and Brother as well by the looks of it. Fabric time over in the corner, Jules is there as well. So yeah, we're, we're doing the long way around, darlings. <laughs> oh, I've got, got quilted bear with all their cutting mats and all sorts of bits and pieces, all sorts of stuff. Again, more haberdashery. Got a little banana stand in the corner here. Morning. 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 This lovely lady is streaming to YouTube, to Facebook. I am. Wave and say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, Beat and Button here, who uh, retired four shows ago, but they're still going. They've still got stuff going on. <laughs> uh, you've got House of Sandra here with all her lovely felt kits. Morning. Oh, I like it. That one. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Morning, Taryn. Morning, Carol. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi. You right? Yeah. Come with me. Oh, okay. What are we looking at, sir? Although that lady has just gone that way. Who, oh, Maggie? This is a um, different bond, heat and bond thing. Oh, right. It's like double-sided paper. Yeah. And then when you peel it, oh, she did peel it somewhere. When you peel it, there's a sticky. Feel that? Oh yeah, tacky. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to iron it on. It just no. sticks on, does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, I think well, you then cool. iron it to melt it all in it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Look really cool, but she's not here. Oh. She's oh gone maybe that we'll way. come back for that. Um, so. Morning. Um, so yeah, she's got some really really cute bit Maggie Davis yeah, designs. They look beautiful. Yeah. Blah blah oh. vampire emergency blah. Uh, what else have we got going on? So we've got Brenda just here from Country Folk. She's got all the beautiful, beautiful kits. I mean, just, it's delicious stuff, frankly. Delicious, delicious. Ooh, I like that little bundle. Those greys and pinks are gorgeous. Look at those little bears. Ooh, cute, cute, cute. What Halloween-y stuff. I mean, just... Delicious, delicious. Morning, Jackie. How are you, lovely? She's got fat quarters, she's got felt, all sorts. Uh, and then we've got barn yarns next to us. Rosenberg. There's Andy. I believe it's Joe's birthday today. It might be. It's Joe's birthday today. Where is she? Have you left her in bed? Is she in bed? Have you no, left her in bed? Oh, poor Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Have made so she's here somewhere, she's fair here enough. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's lovely Joe's birthday today, so Crafty UK just here, <laughs> Bigger Stitches are just here, and we're going to go back, right, I'm just chatting crap now, aren't I? Let's go, let's go, have got Rosenberg. Yeah, yeah, I've done, the, I've done the journal ones, yeah, I did those a minute ago. So, oh, something smells really... Oh, musty around here. Camelot Crafts here. There's our lovely Sam from JMB. Hello, darling. And uh, we're going to go down to the quilts. Oh, let me just show you, actually, before we do go down to the quilts. Um, there is. This is the lady. Oh, that smells really bad around here. I don't know what the hell they've done, but it smells bad. I think it's where they've mopped up that spillage. It's like dampness. Uh, this lady here is where I bought all the turtle stuff for my mum. Her name's Helen Steele. Um, she does you know, hover there for you so that you can get her details. Designs all her own fabric. I bought loads and loads of these different colours for my mum yesterday. I'm going to do a quilt. But she's got just really, really cool designs. Absolutely love her. Love her stuff. I was hoping she'd have the one fabric on the meter, but I don't think she has. All sorts, all sorts. This, we might have to come back and get some of this. I mean, look at this. Little neon on grey. Yum, yum, yum. I, I mean, just, if you write, like sort of quirky, funky, really modern stuff. I mean, look at that set there. I need that set. So, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Anyway, quilts. Let's do the quilts, guys. 
How are you all anyway? You all okay? Everybody all right? I hope so. Um, we are going to uh, Green Hills here. Hannah's room's just here. Got all sorts going on. Let's go and look at the other side. We need to find our uh, Maria's quilt as well because she's got one in. So I'm hoping it's good. I'm going to find it today. <laughs> I'm hoping I didn't miss it yesterday. So we're going to have a little look at so we did that side yesterday didn't we yeah so we need to do uh, this side today guys show you some of the beautifulness um, no wait because i showed you that one maybe i didn't do this one did i do this side i can't remember oh i can't remember what i did now but we'll have a little wonder you can see the quilts yeah because i did that one let me get round to the other side then. And that's beautifully done. Really beautifully done. That long arm bit one. And then, yeah, because I showed you that one, didn't I? Maybe I did do the other side. Maybe I did that row. Okay, I don't think we did these few, so we'll, we'll go up this one. Love that David Bowie quilt. I think that's absolutely amazing. I even, I li really like, the long stitching they've done in it. Can you see they've just done some long stitching in it. It's all just squares and rectangles. And when you pull back out, how cool is that? I love a bit of Bowie. Love a bit of Bowie. And then we've got some really beautiful ones down here. That's gorgeous. I like that one. Really, really nice. Well, this one won a lot of rosettes. What's this one? This is Overall Runner-Up, Advanced Professional Quilter Award and Large Wall Hanging. And there we go. Looks like a Lynette Anderson. Oh, it was a block. Yeah, it was. <laughs> there we go. Block of the month. And yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, love that. I think that's gorgeous. Love the colours in that one. Um, I'm going to. I'm not going to be a bitchy at all because I think this is absolutely beautiful. But I'm a little surprised that this one quilted because when you look at it, actually, it's free motioned, brilliant. But the stitching is very, very regular. So surprised by that, but still gorgeous. That, however, is stunning. Really, really beautiful. How did that not win an award? We got hearts and flowers, and it's appliqued, and then stitched. Can you see that beautiful raised stitching? Morning, Melba. And we pull out. I mean, it's just stunning. I love that on the black. Um, really, really pretty stuff. A lot of rainbow going on this time. A lot of rainbow. So, which is nice. All the horses. <laughs> I do think that's cute. Very, very quirky. Really, really quirky. Really lovely bit of appliqué on that. You see that little, <laughs> little emu's face. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Uh, some gorgeous... Uh, whole cloth quilts I mean oh it's Sandy Lush's what a surprise but look how beautiful that stitching is I mean I just I always gobsmacked about how amazing her hand stitching is I mean she's just a genius absolute genius okay. oh that's cute as well how lovely is that one Again, not, not my taste, but beautifully, beautifully done. The quilting on that's gorgeous. I really like, I don't know if you can see at the top, how they've used that vine work there in amongst like a, the little meander vermicelli. So it's a really, really small, tight stitch. Uh, really, really gorgeous. And, ah, oh, won first place on a fundraising quilt. That's nice. And a judge's merit. There's our quilt just there 
seems to have been, shall we say, some unusual decisions on the winning quilts in mind. Yes, I'm, I will go with that as well, lovely. I, um, I would like to see like some judges' comments, why they chose that, what they saw. Because don't get me wrong, that Lynette Anderson quilt is beautiful, stunning, really, really nicely done. But when you look at the free motion on it, and it's hand guided, not, um, you know, not machine done. I love that. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's very uneven. So I'd like to know why that one over others. I think this is really clever how they've all done different panels and put it all together. But they've got sort of like 3D elements on there. This one, second prize in the group. Um, and I like the fact they've got these little 3D elements and stuff in there, which is really, really pretty. So, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we go down here. What's that one? That's a judge's choice. This one, first place in a theme quilt. Um, the custom guided long arm machine and art quilt. And yeah, I mean, that's just so interesting. I love how they've used different little elements. You've got beads in that, you've got sequins in that, you've got like a little seed stitch happening in there. This is all raised, this you've got look like covered buttons. There's a piece of art, I think that's gorgeous. Um, little judges, that one got a judge's merit. I like that. I think that's really interesting. Sorry, I stopped talking then, didn't I, for a second. I still haven't found Maria's. I need to find our Maria's quilt. Um, we've got some little tiny miniature. Ah, oh, here's some beautiful miniatures. Oh, look at that. Oh, how gorgeous is that? I'm not a massive miniature fan because I, I wouldn't be have the patience for it. I really wouldn't. I, but I'm always in awe of the work that people do with that. That's absolutely amazing. Quite rightly won the uh, <laughs> won first place with that. Ah, look at him, he's cute. And then you've got those little tiny diddy ones there. Beautiful. That's stunning. Like that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Sorry, I've got a little bit. Uh, lost with her and looking at the quilts and forgot to talk um i just the work on that is unbelievable it's so so beautiful so neat and when you pull out that's gorgeous and on screen it's so much more vibrant in real life those teals and aquas are really popping absolutely gorgeous lynn are the hand quilted and machine free motion judged separately or together are long arms judged along with them as separate ward. I think they're separate, lovely. I think hand-guided and computer-aided are separate. I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure of that. I'm sure when I read the, you know, the guidelines, um, that's beautiful as well. They are separate. Um, but yeah, just, there are, again, it's so subjective, isn't it? So, so subjective. So, you never know. I still haven't found Maria's. I'm sure it's here somewhere probably gone past it twice and she's going to be shouting at me going well it's over there it's beautiful as well like that really simple little block but very cool with all those fabrics really nice we've got some more over there oh there's some really really amazing stuff here really amazing stuff I like that one too. I like the thread work on this one. You see all this beautiful like, embroidery and all that they've done, all those thousands of French knots. Really interesting textures it creates. There we go. Right, um, I think we've been down that one. I, Maria, darling, you're gonna have to show me on Sunday when you get here where your quilt is, because. I think I've probably walked past it. I think I've probably walked past it and I can't find it. But then there's so much to look at. <laughs> so much to look at. Um, right.
Okay, let's go down this last section down here just to see if I can see anything we've not looked at. That still intrigues me, I like that one. Because we did do at one side and not the other. Did I do, I did those ones. Did that side. There's Maria's. I recognize it now. <laughs> there we go. Ah, see I had, I'd walked, walked down one side and missed it. There's, uh, there's Maria, she's one of our gigglers. Beautiful quilt, really, really bright and lovely. Did, Maria, did we quilt that one for you? I think we might have done, actually. I think I might have done. Did I quilt that one? I might have done. I can't remember. So, yeah. Gorgeous. Well done, Maria. You love the felt one too. Absolutely, I do. Hi, Sandra. How are you, love? You're looking forward to coming tomorrow. Brilliant. We'll see you tomorrow, lovely. Um, please do come say hello. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I've forgotten then. The brain's gone. Um, there was another lady who said, who commented that she'd seen her quilt. Um, and I forgot what your name is. I'm so sorry, lovely. I've forgotten what you said your name was. I've read so many comments last night. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's um, a little sneaky peek. Oh, didn't see that one. I didn't think I went down this one. There you go. I like that. That's very intriguing. What's this one? This is, this one... An award for computer guided long arm machine quilting as well. Um, hold on to that for you so you can read it. Um, I love the fact she's used those Japanese fabrics and then quilted in with gold these beautiful Japanese symbols and then used copper on the, the outside, which is interesting. And then really gorgeous, just black on black work as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's beautiful as well. I like this little stitch they've used. This is a lovely little stitch they've used in here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Right. That was a little sneaky peek of the other side. I'm glad I found yours, Maria. <laughs> And you, and you told me it was there somewhere. <laughs> Just <laughs> kept missing it. Oh my God, the smell in this hall today is really unpleasant. Blah, blah, vampire emergency, blah. So is it me or does it smell funny in here? Does it smell really damp in here today? Yeah, it smells really odd. It's the mop, oh, it is just, oh. As you walk, as you walk, yeah, as you walk in, I'm like, oh. On the bright side, it didn't stain the floor. It did. <laughs> there was a spillage the first day. It was some sort of Ribena type, Ribena stuff. Oh my God, it's the pink stain is still on the floor. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to make a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I'm have a coffee actually. I might need a coffee this morning. Um, can you say hello? Hiya. How are you doing? <laughs> you love Maria's quilt. It requires so many of her blocks from you. Yeah, it does. It's all. I think it's the isolation quilt. I can't remember. And then she added some of her own as well. I found Maria's quilt. Oh, you did, did it you? It is one that we quilted, I think. I think, I've, oh, I yeah, think yeah. it's one we quilted, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, nice to see, though. Um, seen some lovely bits. Nice. If you come in today, come and say hello. Last oh, year. Yeah, and make sure when you come, you let us know your name because you might know us, but we don't know what you look like, okay? <laughs> so many people say, oh, I love your one o'clock, and then off they've gone, and I don't even know who you are. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> just, just tell us your name, because we see your names come up all the time, and obviously we've you know, met lots of you, and some of you do tell us who you are. And I never but, remember people's names anyway. But yeah, you've got to tell us your name, guys. <laughs> uh, has it been busy for you? Yes, it has, hasn't it? We've yeah. had a really busy yeah. couple of days. Um, and last year, Saturday, was actually the busiest of the, the four days. So, hoping for another bumper day. Yeah, so if you can, wave. Yeah. <laughs> wave. Wave as you go past. <laughs> right, my lovelies. Um, I will we'll speak to you real soon. I'll do last little walk around tomorrow morning. Come and say hello if you're about. And we'll, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Say bye-bye, sir. Bye, sir.